Many have been leading a charge to liquidate uh, BlackRock-run investments. John Schroeder is among them, the Louisiana State Treasurer, kind enough to join us now. Uh, Treasurer, thank you. Uh, we don't know whether, you, you know, efforts like yours and others are having a material impact on BlackRock, but you think they should, right, that, that, that BlackRock is wandering from its stated investment mission. Um, maybe you can explain it. Well, it and there you, you say very kindly they, they're they're trying to force their political agendas on Louisiana and the citizens of Louisiana, which rely heavily in a fossil fuel space, whether it's natural gas or oil. Uh, you know, this is just a, a, a small message, at least from Louisiana, that. You know, we're not going to put up with it. Uh, we're already being crushed by the federal government uh, on their policies and what it's doing to the oil and gas industry in our, our state. I don't need corporate America to stick their nose someplace where it shouldn't be. Uh, I tell people very simply, let, let business run business let, and, and let the politicians who get elected by the people they represent uh, push policies, good, bad or indifferent, and, and come to the state houses to do that. And that's not what's happening with BlackRock. So, uh, Treasurer, uh, in the case of BlackRock, uh, do they run a lot of state funds, either for teachers, firemen, policemen? And are you now saying we don't want you to run them anymore or you're going to bid this out to other financial players? Yeah, so what, what happens, at least in Louisiana, each state's different. And I, I, I lead the State Financial Office Foundation with 23-plus treasurers. And we all sort of do something different with our investments. Uh, this, this money that I've started moving earlier in, in the year and started making, talking about it late last year, uh, is really our money management, our day-to-day -day monies. But the real money BlackRock really wants to get to is the state retirement monies. In Louisiana, that's about $70-plus billion dollars. So if, if BlackRock says it, because they've made this, these remarks when this first came up, uh, we don't prioritize one investment over another, whatever works, works. We, we, we state our views or climate change friendly or, or we recognize that, but it doesn't interfere with good investment bets. You say that that's not the case? No, I, I can show you data where, where their investments aren't doing well. And when, they, when their numbers come out next week, I think you'll be able to see it. And once we're able to a analyze it, um, you know, you'll be able to see that their investments aren't necessarily the, the, the most uh, uh, the, the number one choice for, for a lot of investments. But, you know, it's what really rankles me is that. You know, BlackRock can go do all these things, and these very large liberal corporate companies can go do, any, do anything, say what they want. But when a small state like we, Louisiana pushes back, it's like news. This isn't news to me. This is something I've been fighting as treasurer for the last four-plus years. We've, we've already blocked Bank of America and City from doing business with our state and, and bonding money. I mean, I, I will continue to do this whenever a bank or some major corporation, in my case, it's a bank and investment companies because as state treasurer, that's what I do. That's what I deal with. Um, why should I do business with companies who want to see Louisiana basically put out of business? I don't I don't know why that's news. But if they want to take some public policy and and push that down to the states, I as treasurer under this Louisiana state constitution um, have the right and the ability to make those financial decisions. And I will not do business with companies who want to take jobs in a critical time in this economy, more jobs away from the hard work and citizens of Louisiana. It's that simple. Well, it's creating a financial earthquake here, so keep us posted, Treasurer. John Schroeder, the uh, state treasurer of Louisiana, uh, will keep you posted. Of course, Thank we reached out to BlackRock and not heard back. 